Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you five ways to make your scales start to sound more musical. If you can play some scales, but when you play them, it sounds pretty boring because you just go up and down the thing. You're going to love this video, and I think you're going to especially love the very last one because it's super, super easy to do. So you're going to stick around to the very end, okay? So let's just jump right into this. All right, so the first thing you can do is what's called a scale sequence, which is basically just a fun way to go up and down it. Players use this stuff all the time as they change pitch ranges. So for example... You've done that one a thousand times. But what if you just simply picked every note twice? That sounds pretty cool, sounds a little bit different, and it's training your ear and your technical abilities. We could do like a little triplet thing. doesn't matter the scale. You could do this in anything. We, I was doing a pentatonic scale. You can do it in a minor scale, major scale, whatever. What if you did went forward and reverse? Does that make sense? You can play some scales. What can you do different? And don't make it hard. The first one, you pick every note twice is pretty simple, but this is used quite a bit. All right. So you can do that different types of scale sequences. And by the way, if you need some help with scale sequences, make a comment in the comment section below. And perhaps I can make a video on different scale sequences and all that kind of stuff. All right. Moving on to number two. And the second one is what's called licks. A lick is like a little piece of the scale. Think of it like a little musical word. So for example, if I was doing this pentatonic scale, here it is. What if I went... See what I did? I went da 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 da. I went, let's see, third string, seven, five, seven, five. That's it. You just do little pieces of it and sing it in your head. That's what you can do. Okay, so that's what you do with licks. And again, if you want some licks, you need help making licks, understanding what to do with that. I can make a video specifically on that. The next one is techniques. So techniques is we can do things like bending the notes. We can do hammer on, slides, natural harmonics. You can, do, you can spice up what you do with these different phrasing techniques, and that way it'll make your, maybe a boring piece of music, a boring little melody, really start to come alive. Oh, I got it. Lame, right? But we can start to spice it up with some techniques. Now we're talking. You get it, right? Whatever. Check out my video on different techniques. I believe I have a video, and I'll, I'll have it in the description, with the seven first techniques that you should learn first. So check that out, and then apply those techniques, the bends, the double stuff. Sounds totally cool. Okay, and the fourth thing you can do is your rhythm. So you can change up the rhythm and that way you're not always doing the same rhythms for everything. And if you're not quite sure about what that means, you need to check out my other videos. And uh, yeah, you need to learn about rhythm. Oftentimes with working with players, uh, lead guitar players, for whatever reason we think uh, rhythm is for the rhythm guitar player, right? It's not for me. No, 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 no. You need to have great rhythm and that's an easy way to start making things sound more musical. Target the off beats, add in different types of rhythms. Maybe do eighth notes and sixteenth notes, one and two e and a three and four e and a. Got that. And the last thing you can do is simply play less. Yeah, it's that simple. You need to play less. You say something. It's just like a language. You say something, and then you like pause. If you're the one of these people that talk like this, that's how a lot of players play their guitar. That's how they play lead guitar. So you need to like, shut up, say something, play, and then just pause for a second. So for example, I'm not doing anything. Nothing, nothing, 
Pause. Does that make sense? You can play fast, but maybe do it in smaller spurts or whatever, but you can't be this person that's going like da 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 talk, 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 move your fingers, move your fingers, and expect it to sound good. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. All right, so it's literally that simple, but this actually can be kind of tricky and hard for some because in their brains are thinking, I need to be moving my fingers to make music. So there's the five things. If you like this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you have other things, perhaps, if you, have, if you don't agree with my list, you can maybe put those in the comment section below as well. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the other videos.